Good morning, sir. Good, yeah, good morning. Hi. How are you feeling today? Yeah, it's very good. Nice. Yeah. Uh, can I know your name, sir? Yeah, my name is R. Balakrishna. I am consultant neurologist at Citizen Super Specialty Hospital, Guntur, Andhra okay. Pradesh. Okay. So, all the way from Andhra Pradesh, just to attend this massive uh, conference that we have held for uh, the, uh, you know, awareness of epilepsy, right? Yeah, yes, right. All right. So when it comes to epilepsy, I would want to understand what is the uh, local language people understand that is, you know, whenever you have a patient coming in and talking about it, what is the terms they use for it? Yeah, usually in Andhra Pradesh, you mean they will speak Telugu. Okay. okay. In Telugu, they will say that naaku fits ochai, le dante morcha vayadosundi, kallu dhiri padi poyanu, chetil kall kotu kodamu, like that nurgaravadamu. These are the symptoms they will tell usually. Could you translate that for us? Yeah, surely, surely. What the, they will tell is, uh, I am getting seizures, someone, I am throwing fits, and someone is saying that I am getting frothing from the mouth, and also suddenly becoming unconscious, and uh, suddenly sometimes getting giddiness and uh, falling down. These are the symptoms usually they tell. Alright, the regular symptoms. Anything that uh, you must have heard in your career that, you know, some myths that we think are actually there in the industry when it comes to epilepsy, that you must have thought of or heard about it. Any patient that comes in and says, I've done this and it hasn't worked? No, not like that. Uh, see, in the rural population, uh, epilepsy means that is, uh, now also there is uh, so much social stigma is there. Right. They all feel that uh, it is a myth. Uh, epilepsy, they will tell that simply I am just getting, uh, just due to uh, BP is down, that's why I am falling down. Otherwise, I am just having some giddiness, I don't have seizures. Like these symptoms, they will tell. Sometimes they will tell that some god is uh, uh, having <laughs> influence on us. That's why I'm getting these things. Uh, that is all in the rural population. It will be there. Exactly. And also, not only that, in a treatment also they will take that. Not uh, they don't use medication. They usually go for them Ayurvedic treatment and also them Aku, uh, some Ayurvedic uh, Rasalu will be like that. Mm -hmm. will be there. They will usually take those medication. So those are the myths should be we should be avoided by uh, increasing awareness and some counseling or ever care, maintaining awareness campaigns. Those are the things you can do. All right. So, uh, like you just mentioned, that there are people who come in and say, uh, you know, my BP is dropping down, and maybe that's why I'm fainting. But uh, can it be a possibility wherein these symptoms could actually be misunderstood as some other disease or some other disorder? Yeah, that's truly because uh, so many young population, especially girl, uh, women who is in the uh, mid twenties, they will have their BP will be in the lower uh, lower side. Right. It may be seventies, eighties. Sometimes lowering the BP also, they will have faintness and giddiness and uh, falling down. So then only we will uh, we are having that e we can do EEG like, like tests. There will be some test to diagnose epilepsy, like doing a uh, CT scan or MRI or doing one EEG. Then if, it, if you find out that a EEG is showing any discharges within the brain or any CT or MRI is abnormal, then we can say that uh, she is having seizures. If it is normal, then we can say comfortably that she is having a simple uh, lowering of the BP, maybe it's a small syncopal attack like that. Okay. Also, sir, uh, a lot of people, they get scared of coming to the doctor in the industry wherein they still are suffering from such diseases, such dis disorders which are actually very vulnerable at one given point, point of time. So uh, for those who are not visiting the doctor and you know are uh, taking care of themselves by their own, what are the message you want to convey to them? Yeah, see there is so much prevalence of epilepsy, there is no need to panic about that. So as per the <coughs> Uh, records you can see that every thousand there are almost four to five patients are there for, uh, suffering from epilepsy. So whenever you feel epilepsy, no need to shy. You go to a, your doctor, a, a, who is nearby, a neurologist or something, or any physician nearby you, you can go. You can go there and you can have tests or you can say what are you feeling, what are the symptoms you are getting. So then they will know that we are having which syndrome or which, what is the type of epilepsy and they can advise you medication. By using regular medication for a, usually from two to three years, so, so many of them, they, they will get rid of these seizures. So please uh, get rid of those uh, stigma. That is what I'm saying. That is a uh, so much social stigma. Right. That's why they uh, feel that they uh, some epilepsy. If I am in epilepsy, so if I anybody knows that they will treat me like separately like that. You should be avoided that. So that is a common problem. That is one, of one disease. That is a common problem. You can uh, go into. You can openly discuss with your if your children are there. You can discuss with parents or you can uh, discuss with your neighbors and you can uh, consult a doctor and you can get treatment and you can be cured of that. Okay, just one uh, small question. Uh, so, a lot of people, like I just mentioned, they don't visit doctor. But is it possible that they can treat themselves at their house without consulting a doctor? Can that be curable even then? 
know how it is possible they don't know what is that how can they know the medication they don't know it's it's not at all possible so only with medication only they can be cured self treatment is not a a, a come treatment for epilepsy okay it's not at all possible that is so for the audience who is watching us right now if you are having any such symptom the doctors they are the actual professional doctors dealing on epilepsy it is an advice that you need to consult a doctor if you are feeling any symptoms of it is that what you are saying sir yes, yeah that's true okay. thank you so much for your words it really means a lot thank you sir